The motion brought by three governors of Kogi, Kaduna and Zamfara states is seeking an order of interim injunction restraining the federal government through the Central Bank of Nigeria or the commercial banks from suspending or determining or ending on February 10, 2023, the time frame with which the now older version of 200 Naira, 500 Naira and 1000 Naira denominations of the Naira may no longer be legal tender pending the hearing and determination of their motion on notice for interlocutory injunction. Counsel to the plaintiff, Abdul Karim Mustafa S.A.N., urges the APS court to grant the application in the interest of justice and the well-being of Nigeria. He stated that the policy of the federal government had led to an excruciating situation that is almost leading to anarchy in the land. Mustafa S.A.N. further urges that unless the Supreme Court intervenes, the situation will lead to anarchy because most banks are already closing operations. Delivering ruling in the motion, Justice Okoro holds that after a careful consideration of the motion, as party, the application is granted as prayed. He then ordered federal government through the Central Bank of Nigeria or the commercial banks from banning the use of old Naira notes on February 10, 2023 pending determination of the application. Cancel in the matter, brief press after the ruling. We, we invoked the original jurisdiction of the uh, Supreme Court. When there's a dispute between the state government and federal government, it's one of the few occasions where Supreme Court has the original jurisdiction. So we invoked the powers of, uh, of, this Supreme Court, of the Supreme Court to hear this, um, this application. The reason for it is that um, as a well-intentioned as this uh, policy of federal government of redesign is working hardship all over the country. As we can all see, banks are being harassed, Nigerians are suffering needless, especially the dam trodden. Those in the urban areas, they're having problems, but it's more excruciating at the rural area. So these three state uh, governments, um, Kaduna, Sanfara and Kogi, deem it fit for us to invoke the powers of the Supreme Court to intervene. And the Supreme Court has a, are not just uh, the final court, but uh, a court of policy in its um, considered ruling, saw merits in our application, and restrained the federal government, and by extension, the Central Bank of Nigeria. The old note that we all have is still a legal tender beyond the 10th of February that the federal government said is no longer with legal tender. So the old note, as we speak, the Supreme Court has spoken, and the Supreme Court is the last court, is the final court, is the appeals court. It has said that that 10th of February is no longer operative. No, the, the other is an expertise, and uh, because of the urgency, and a few bit of urgency filed by the applicants, the court in its wisdom decided that something must be done because of the urgency. But uh, the court has rightly, in its own wisdom, directed that all processes must be there by 15th, that is Wednesday next week, for us to argue our various positions. The matter has been adjoined to February 15, 2023, for hearing on the substantive suit. Joseph Kadri, ITV News.